Hey everybody, I'm Jack Reed. I'm the designer of the e Moritani expansion, which is the third expansion for the classic Dune board game, the 2019 edition from Gale Force 9. One of the variants in this expansion is something called Discovery Tokens. And these are tokens that you will be placing on corners of the map that normally don't see a lot of action. Uh, there will be spice cards that you will add into the spice deck, and when you draw one, you'll have a six spice spice blow somewhere, and it will tell you where to put uh, either a high reg token, which will go in a desert territory, or a smuggler token, which will go in a rock territory. Now, there are four of each of the different types, uh, but only up to three will be in there, and they are placed uh, face down uh, after being shuffled, so you don't know which ones will be in there. And in this one, we're going to be focusing on the fourth high reg token, which is Jackarudu Siege. So this is a stronghold that is for the win. These are my double-sized uh, discovery tokens for my double-sized map of Arrakis. Uh, the normal ones are smaller than this. Um, and the way they work is they're going to be face down in the territory. So, for instance, you might place one in Meridian. Uh, you have to go to Meridian and be the only faction left there when the spice collection phase happens. Uh, then you get to peek at the token and decide if you want to reveal it. So if you reveal this one, you don't immediately go in because then you could have a situation where somebody has won the game without actually even having to fight for it. But at the start of the next game turn, before the storm moves, if you are in the territory with the discovery, reveal discovery token, you can occupy that token. So you will be able to start the next game turn by occupying Jakarutu. Uh, in addition, it has an ability here. So if you win a battle in Jakarudu Siege, then you get a spice for every one of your opponent's undialed forces that you sent to the tanks. So it's its own built-in stronghold ability. There's no stronghold card for Jakarudu. You don't need the card. It has its own ability, and the icons on the token itself let you know what that ability is. Uh, so yeah, in its stronghold rules, you can only have two factions in a revealed discovery token that is a location, uh, but then you can then ship directly to them at a cost of one spice per force. Uh, and it counts as a territory within that territory. So if this is in Meridian, if you're moving to it, you have to move into Meridian and then another move to get into the stronghold. So uh, in some cases, it's going to be Still challenging to get there just by movement, uh, but by shipping, uh, pretty pretty easy to uh, to get there for everybody, maybe except the Fremen. Uh, so that is the fourth one. I like having another stronghold in the game, even in six players, but definitely if you're going to play with more than six players, you're going to want to make sure, uh, maybe make sure that this is one of the stronghold tokens that are one of the high reg tokens that is going to be uh, in the mix so that you know that you're going to have that one in the game. Um, there's even some variants where you can top load the spice deck with some of the discovery spice cards uh, just so that you know that you're drawing them early. Um, and you can even decide ahead of time which which one, which of these you're going to have in the game. Uh, the shrine, the cistern, Jakarudu. Uh, I think there's a few different ways that you can make use of these. Um, so yeah, having another stronghold in the game does make stronghold blocking a little more challenging. Uh, and it can speed things up, certainly, if you've got six of these, seven if you've got the Ixians in the game. And then, of course, if you decide to use the optional shield wall sort of fan, not really official yet, um, rules where after the fourth worm has been drawn in the spice deck, the shield wall counts as a stronghold. Um, it's still a rock territory, uh, so you can't ship directly to it for cheap. Um, and you can have any number of strongholds there if you're using the uh, shield wall stronghold rules. Um, but this is uh, probably an even simpler way to get it. You're not really sure where it's going to end up in Meridian or in uh, Garakulan, um, but it will definitely spice up the game. So let me know if you have any questions about Jackarudu Siege or Discovery Tokens in general. If you had a chance to play with the Discovery Tokens, let me know what you think of them. Or we're going to go into 
the smuggler tokens uh, in the next set of videos. I will point out that if the Fremen are in the game and you have a face down stronghold token, they get to peek. They, uh, they have a sense of what's out there. So they'll know if Jackarudu has been discovered and um, they can decide if it's worth their while to go out there and uh, try to reveal the token or prevent other people from getting there. You can go You can go to that territory with an undiscovered stronghold, and if other people go there too, you're going to be fighting them. And if you full dial, then it just remains undiscovered because nobody's there. Um, if, you've, if you've won the battle and sacrificed all of your forces, which I saw in a recent game. So we had a, a, a high rank token that went a couple of rounds, a couple of game turns, before we knew what it was, and um, it ended up being Jackarudu. So it was uh, very exciting seeing that get in there. That's it for this video, everybody. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.